Zoom Zuckers. 9th CBSE. Chemistry. Matter in our surroundings. Part 1st. Introduction. Can you tell which of these is a matter? Air, oxygen, love, sugar, sand, water, hatred, affection, milk, thoughts, ideas, sand, copper, petrol and damp, smell. Think fast and damp, answer us in the comment box. If we look around us, we can see a large no, of things of different shapes, sizes and textures. Many of them are used by us in our everyday life. For example, we eat food, drink water, breathe in air, and damp, wear clothes. We use table and chair for studying, bed to sleep, and so on. Therefore, the things like food, water, air, clothes, table, chair, human beings, animals, plants, trees, etc. are all examples of matter. Means these all occupy space, volume and mass. Now the things like friendship, love, affection, hatred, good or bad manners, thoughts, ideas, taste, smell, etc. are not considered as matter though all these things matter a lot in our day-to-day -day life. They are not matter because they don't occupy space neither volume nor mass. Means the only conditions for something to be called matter is that they should occupy space and should have mass or volume. So we will define matter as anything which occupies space and has mass is called matter. Ancient Indian philosophers said that all matter, living or non-living was made up of five basic elements air, earth, fire, sky and damp, water. Modern day scientists classified matter in two ways, first on the basis of physical properties and on the basis of TS chemical properties, 